Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, it is our main event of the evening. It's a fatal four-way for the World Championship. CM Punk puts the title on the line against his ally, Shawn Michaels. The former champion, AJ Styles, and the new contender, Finn Balor. And this is a match that can be traced back to our last pay-per-view, Unchained. Get used to this side, folks, because I am your World Heavyweight Champion. I am sorry to one man, and that man is this man, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. I'm saying that my pick to challenge me for that title is the man standing right next to me, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. It seems as though you guys are forgetting about someone. You did not pin me to win that championship. It's no longer a freeway, boys. It's a fatal four-way. We're down to two. Edge. Finn Balor, one of these men, will advance to the Fatal 4-Way and Insurgents. Finn Balor! Finn Balor is advancing to the Fatal 4-Way. Finn Balor will get a shot at the NLW Heavyweight Championship of the World. You are now the number one contender for the title and Insurgents in a Fatal 4-Way, but maybe you should get a bit of a scouting mission tonight. A gauntlet match, let's say, where you face every man in the match, one after the other after the other. And here's AJ Styles, who earlier was reluctant to put Balor away, and now he's he's telling Michaels and Punk to just leave it. He's going to try and check on him now, but oh no! Michaels tried the sneak attack, and so did Punk! And now Styles having none of it, the forearm spring! Styles clashed to the Michaels, and what a talk about strong alliances. Heading into that fatal four-way, have we seen another one emerge? They show their weapons, and they shoot their bullets. AJ and Bala, is this the alliance to top or the world champion? I am your world heavyweight champion. And the heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels will be unstoppable. I can unleash my demons. This is the face that runs this place. You're looking at the two men standing between you and destiny. Finn Bala is no pushover. Let this serve as a warning. Your time is number punk. The heavyweight champion of the world, you are looking at C C M M Punk Punk. I'll tell you what. It's a match that we've been anticipating for a very long time. One of the most anticipated world title matches in recent memory. And about to make his way to the ring. The first of three very hungry challengers. All of them gunning for one man and one prize. The man. CM Punk the prize, the heavyweight title of the world. And here tonight, this man could make history. This is the demon. This is Finn Balor. He is a former Intercontinental Champion in this company. And as you know, the Intercontinental title can be cashed in at any time for a world title match. That's exactly what Balor did a couple of months ago, he cashed it in on the then world champion AJ Styles. However, a DQ finish meant that Finn Balor did not become heavyweight champion that night. And that has to be on the mind of Balor. And for a matter of fact, on the mind of AJ Styles, who very nearly lost his world title that night. But AJ Styles instead ended up losing it at our last pay-per-view unchained inside the Elimination Chamber. However, the man who was now the champion, CM Punk, didn't actually pin AJ Styles in the chamber to win the championship. So that is also going to be a major factor to consider when these four are going at it. And not only is he a former world champion, he is perhaps the greatest world champion that this company has had. He cashed in money in the bank to win it, but he earned a reputation by being one of the best wrestlers in the world, defending it against the likes of Sting, CM Punk, The Undertaker and others. And tonight has a chance to regain the gold that he feels he should still be entitled to. And then, this guy holds, well, he holds a lot of power in his hands. And that's an understatement. Him and the world champion CM Punk have formed an alliance over the past couple of months and it was our last pay-per-view unchained inside the Elimination Chamber that we thought the alliance had ended. CM Punk pinned Shawn Michaels in the chamber, double-crossing him and then going on to win the world title but it seemed to be war under the bridge the night after 
and it was actually CM Punk who allowed Shawn Michaels to be in this matchup. He says it's from the goodness of his heart to give Michaels a shot. However, we all know that CM Punk just wants a lackey to try and do his bidding in this matchup to even the odds for him, or at least stack the deck against former Bullet Club leaders Finn Balor and AJ Styles. And about to make his way to the ring, somebody who before he won the championship, many felt he was entitled to it. CM Punk certainly felt he was entitled to it. And many believed he deserved that championship more than anybody. After all, he's been here for a hell of a long time and he's worked his ass off to get where he is. But as of late, he's been taking shortcuts. Needless to say, one of them is being aligned with Shawn Michaels. And earlier tonight on Metal, Michaels and Punk had a conversation in the backstage area. Michael saying, essentially, if you double-cross me one more time, I will not hesitate to kick your ass in the main event. And here we go. The match begins. And look at this teamwork by Styles and Balor. Their alliance appeared to be rock solid until last week when there was some shaky ground after Balor tagged himself in to take the glory and take the win. Balor pinned the world champion this past week and now they're not going to try and align themselves. They want to go one-on-one, -on -one, but Michaels and Punk drag them out of the ring before they can have at it. And there you see Michaels sent into the barricade. And there's the drop kick. Right into the steel barricade. And Shawn Michaels taken down with both feet right into the chest. Going to win him for sure. And that's not going to be great early on. Especially considering the high-octane style that many of these guys in this matchup have in their arsenal and well he doesn't have his lackey anymore the world champion CM Punk in between a rock and a hard place a phenomenal one and a demon and there's a kick and a penalty kick by Balor oh but looking to get the early advantage looks to roll him up but a kick out and now look at Balor goes to the armbar but AJ Styles makes it into the ropes but I don't know what that's going to do there are no disqualifications and no counters in this match so it would have done anything but oh my good grief Insiguri, and there's a bad kick by Balor. The Pele, and now that overhead kick has stunned Shawn Michaels momentarily. And you see, oh, look at the backslide. Backslides him over, and a kick out. Another double underhook, and the world shed with a Tiger Driver to Finn Balor. And Balor trying to regain his consciousness here, but kicks him right in the skull with that. Baseball slide. And now CM Punk checking on his ally. Getting in his ear as he's done over the past couple of weeks. And now they look to double team the competition. Make sure that Styles and Balor have been taken out. So that they can fight amongst themselves. But Styles moves. And now Punk sent it into him. And now the corner close line to both. Shawn Michaels remains standing. Albeit resting on the corner. And now Styles going for a second, but Michaels catches him, and the belly to belly. Right into the turnbuckles, and you see the way that AJ Styles' back compressed into the turnbuckles that time. Good grief, and again, Michaels working over strategy with the world champ, and there's a boot by CM Punk. And now Michaels is right at him, but here comes Balor with a clothesline, takes him out in mid-air. I should say mid-run. And now Balor going after the world champ. CM Punk in trouble. Has a headlock. First off the ropes, there's a leapfrog. And now a beautiful drop kick by Balor. A former junior heavyweight champion and best of the super junior over in Japan. And here tonight looks to become world champion for the first time in his illustrious career here in this company. And now Michael sees AJ but rolls up. Another Hurricane Rider into a second! Athleticism by AJ. Incredible athleticism. Hurricane Rana into a second to Bala. A man, a man, I have to take a look at this again. Replay, guys, show it again. Look at this. The Hurricane Rana by Michaels and the athleticism and the speed of AJ to turn it into a Hurricane Rana of his own. Another victory roll looks for him. And now has the arms held. Oh, a kick by Punk. Well, so much for them working together. 
It didn't take too long. It took about five minutes. And this is already broken down. And Michaels... Well, Punk saying to Michaels, you ain't gonna win without my knowledge. And oh, look at the drop kick. And while they were bickering on the outside, Shawn Michaels sent to the outside and now he shows his weapon. Shoots his bullet and the cork screw over the top. AJ with a dive, the planter over the top. And Michaels taken out. And meanwhile, the world champion in the ring as AJ tries to pick up the limp body of Shawn Michaels as Punk tries to gain a foot in. And look at this! Through the second rope! The suicide dive by Punk! What they call south of the border, the tope, but... Now, all three men are down... Well, except Bala. Bala stood in the middle of the ring. And while they're all buddy-buddy now, Punk and Michaels working to lift up AJ Styles. But here comes Bala! The Topic on Hero! And Finn Balor dives to the outside and all four men in this world title matchup are down on the canvas. Well, not on the canvas, they're on the concrete outside. And take a look at this again. Dive over the top rope by AJ Styles, followed up by the suicide dive through the ropes by CM Punk and then to top it all off. Finn Balor with a topic on here onto all three men. Pushing our announce table a foot back there as well. And now it is just Finn Balor with Shawn Michaels in the ring. There's a chop. Oh, what a damn clothesline. The damnedest clothesline I've ever seen. Turns Finn Balor inside out. And meanwhile, look at the kick. Showing no respect for Finn Balor. And Finn was worked over a couple weeks ago in a Gauntlet match by all three men in this match. Is it still feeling the effects of it? We will see, but the electric chair. And what's this? A springboard into a forearm, maybe? No! One, Another victory two, roll. They're all through, but a kick out. Balor kicks out of the victory roll. And all in comes CM Punk to hack him out of the knees. And that's what he uses for most of his offense, those kicks. And now has it dragged over the rope and the, putting all of his weight down onto the legs of Bala as Shawn Michaels takes out AJ Styles on the outside there in a running knee and now throws into the canvas below and Finn Bala CM Punk basking in the glory oh meanwhile look at this what's going on here on the figure four and Shawn Michaels sneaking in the back door looking for the figure four and CM Punk saying no 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 you ain't winning this white submission yet and now the Anaconda Vice. Well, if Balor taps, who's going to win? Is it going to be Punk? Is it going to be Michaels? And the problem's already arising. Both men looking for the submission here. And look at this spiral tap. A variant of the spiral tap by AJ Styles. We haven't seen that move since like 2004, 2005. And that just goes to show you how much the world title means to all four of these guys. The corkscrew breaking up the submission. But Finn Balor not stopping to say thanks. Takes out AJ and kicks him in the face again. And AJ resting up against the ring apron here. Oh my god! And again! A lethal kick. And now AJ resting on the floor. He's not going to be resting. He's not in any comfort whatsoever. As CM Punk takes down Finn Balor on the floor again. And look at him. Directing traffic, asking Shawn Michaels to... Oh, good grief again. Throwing him into the steel steps. And this is a relationship that seems to be on, off, on, off, more than the light switch. Again. Oh, my God. Those steel steps, those heavy steel steps. Driven into the spine of Finn Balor by CM Punk. And now they're going to work on AJ after taking out Finn. Laid out on those steps and... Wouldn't be surprised if he got concussion after that. And look at this wheelbarrow by Shawn Michaels and the leg drop. Great teamwork. And the leg drop from the top. After he was held by Shawn Michaels and now again they're working together. After following falling out about what three or four times in this match. There's a flatliner and from the top rope the elbow drop. And AJ Styles may be out of this match for good soon. 
we're going to see momentarily. And CM Punk telling Michaels to tune up the band. Looking to put him away with Sweet Tune Music. Wait a minute. Look at this. One, Look at CM Punk trying to steal the win. What a weasel. Trying to steal the win from under. Oh my. Well, things getting a little more heated, a little more physical here. Michaels and Punk at edge on edge. And oh no. Again. Well, he's held here. Oh my. You want to try and call that move? What in the hell was that? Well, I saw that Shawn Michaels got caught into the power bomb by Finn. CM Punk looked for a German suplex, and now all four men are down. We'll take a look at the replay to see. Well, here you go. AJ Styles grabbed a hold of Shawn Michaels. CM Punk grabbed a hold of AJ Styles, delivered the German, and then there was a belly to belly into a damn power bomb, and there's a chop in the middle. Oh, but looking for the GTS. GTS on Bala! But picks him up into the brain buster. Dropping all the weight of Punk right on his head. And now CM Punk. He's down in the centre of the ring. Are we going to see the coup de grace? The same coup de grace that put Punk away in the tag team match in episode 50. But there is AJ to stop it. And what do you suppose he's doing now? Oh no, not a star splash on the top rope, but now he's in the electric... Oh my, well, almost fallen out of the electric chair. And Finn Balor! Oh, good God! Stomping the hell out of AJ Styles. He was propped up in the electric chair of Punk and then driving both feet into the throat of AJ. And flipping it, oh, look for the back kick, look for the Pele, but... Lands on his feet by Shawn Michaels, and now the assist from CM Punk again. The clothesline into the German suplex. These are four of the finest athletes on the planet, and they're all fighting for the top prize in the game today. There's a atomic drop, and there's the back kick, the heel kick by CM Punk. They're working together again for the moment, even though they'll take nothing, no expense in backstabbing each other. And now, Shawn Michaels telling Punk to hold Bala Oh, for the super kick! But Bala moved! And Shawn Michaels can't believe it! Beast has super kicked his own ally! What? Well, I mean, he doesn't care! Two. He does not care the cover that AJ breaks up at the last minute! Shawn Michaels didn't care that he super kicked... Oh, but again, into the ring post. Didn't care that he super kicked Punk. Instead, went for the cover. And that's what you got to do. It's every man for himself. I don't blame Shawn Michaels, especially after the way that Punk has treated him over the past couple weeks. Especially, oh my goodness, and now they're on the outside. A TV monitor off the skull of Michaels. And now, Bullet Club has Punk and Michaels on those announce tables out here. And it's Finn Balor with a bloody Sunday through the table. CM Punk collapsing not only through the table but onto one of those television monitors as well. One of the same TV monitors that knocked out Shawn Michaels and AJ in the ring. The Spring Lord 450 through the table. AJ Styles risking life and limb to take out the Heartbreak Kid. What a match. What a world title fight. You're seeing it live. History in the making here. Well, we'll take a look again. The bloody Sunday through the table. I think more of his neck landed through the table there. And then the 450 from the ring. Falling about 10 feet. Both up in the air and across. Through the table and taken out Michaels. And now the alliance is down. World champion CM Punk out. And Shawn Michaels down also. And it was their plan to take out Balor and AJ. But now the shoe's on the other foot. Now Balor and AJ can fight amongst themselves to see who the better wrestler is. They fought for the world title before and it ended in a DQ. 
We are definitely going to see a winner. There has to be a winner. There are no disqualifications and no counters in a fatal four-way. And he shoots the gun following the Pele. Went for the Stars Clash, but got hacked out the legs and there's a stomp. Finn Balor with a stomp to the chest. And are we going to see a brand new world champion? One of these men wants to lay claim to be in the world champion. Goes for the double drop kick, but misses. And now he's to get up. And now the springboard into the neck breaker here. No! Turns it around into the paroxysm. Driving AJ's neck into the canvas. And now AJ sees that Bala has his bullets and his gun showing. The sling blade, no. Back suplex, baby. Oh, into a gut buster. And these two men have travelled all over the world. They've followed very similar career paths. But now they have led them to this moment here tonight. The Springboard 450. And Bala kicks out. In his world title reign, that move nearly put away many men, but it did not put away Finn Bala. As he tries to regain his championship. Here tonight he stutters, but now he's on the top rope. Oh, but a kick by Bala. Now AJ is down. And one of these men's going to want to put it away before Punk or Michaels gain their foot in. And regain consciousness. But oh my. What a damn stomp into the back of the skull. I'll tell you what, AJ might not be regaining consciousness anytime soon. If Bala has his way, going to go for the coup de grace. But oh, look who it is. Well, I told you he wouldn't stay down for long. And now that World Championship off the Skull of Bala and wants to do the same. But kicks the title belt into the Skull of Punk. Make sure that Punk can't use it, even though, of course, there's no disqualifications. Now go through German, but Elvis is way out of it. And now the tilt a well into One, the Sunset Flip and the cover. But Bala! He's down One, in the Stars Clash! The super kick by Michaels. Breaking up the pin. And he wasn't doing that for CM Punk. He wasn't doing that for the Alliance. He was doing it because he wants to be the world champion. In his mind, Punk's already double-crossed him enough. But there's a drop kick by Finn, who is back into it. He's back in the ring, and I think Michael's landed his head on the turnbuckle. I don't know if he's out. I don't know if he's going to regain consciousness soon, but Finn Mahler is ascending the turnbuckle. Looks at the coup de grace, but lands on his feet. And now catches a super kick. Span around into the sling blade. That time it connected. And now Finn Balor. All he has to do is put him away. And we got ourselves a new world champ. CM Punk does not have to be pinned to win the title. That much you know. Oh, but look at this. AJ trying to get back into it. He's back dropped and gets caught. He got caught into the trio row and Bala made him pay. Drop kicking him in the corner. And made sure that they have broken his nose. And now dragged back to the center. Sean Michael's trying to regain consciousness. Looking for the power bomb in the corner. Looking for the buckle bomb. What? Now the jack knife into the pin. But he's back up on his feet. And now looks at the stars glass. But the Hurricane Rana and he's out of it. And AJ Styles nearly got the Stars Clash again. Oh, but now drags him to the apron. I'll tell you what, it's a dangerous territory on that apron. Oh, no, oh my god! What a freaking DDT! And did you see the way the Bala's neck crumpled? I'll tell you what, he's out of this match. And that leaves. That leaves Michaels and AJ! And AJ looks for the forearm, but caught the super kick. What a freaking super kick. And now he just has to go in for the cover. And oh, but look who it is. Look who it is. One, oh, for God's two, sake, no. Three. Oh, God damn it. Son of a bitch, he did it again. Once again, he screws Shawn Michaels. Once again, he retains the championship through the skin of his teeth. He is still the world champion. And the people in this arena, I can tell you, they're pissed. They're pissed off. 
that CM Punk is still the world champion. And Shawn Michaels is also livid. He cannot believe it. We'll take a look at this again. AJ took out Balor with a DDT on the apron. And then went for the forearm. And then the super kick. Catching him in midair. And look at this from behind. The world champ CM Punk throwing him out. And grabbing that leg. Hooking that leg as grabbing. I should say as tightly as he is grasping the championship he holds right now. We know that CM Punk will do anything to be world champion, to stay world champion, and that was clear and evident here tonight. Earlier tonight on Metal, Shawn Michaels said, you screw me, your ass is grass, and I'm going to smoke it, essentially. And well, is that enough? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on all HBK. That's what he said. And as CM Punk holds his championship high, you've got to feel that this was Michael's night. But once again on a historic night, CM Punk remains the heavyweight champion of the world.